Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cubic Castle Adventure. Make sure the screen isn't too bright or whatever. Okay. Now I wanted to show you guys uh, another episode of this because we actually got a lot uh, that has happened since um, last time you guys were here. The world has expanded so much. And, um... So now uh, I'm going to show you all what what's all new and also like uh, the new people in the clan and helping us build and everything which by the way oh hmm. I don't know I'm trying to think if there's anything out here that's new I can't think of anything out here that's new except for the ghosts that we got for like the little Halloween decoration I think that's cool so now we're gonna go to the Daltonism town and check it out. This is what a uh, coffee freak actually built. It was funny when I saw it. I was like, "Wow, well, I'm pretty sure I didn't build that." And he used tar to uh, do the coffee, which is a really awesome idea. I would I would not think of this. <laughs> this is awesome. So it's a nice coffee statue. And, um, got a storage room here. I think you guys seen that for sure. Fertile's shop. Now, this is, uh, something that I gave to someone in the clan. They, they've been in the, the group. I'm not sure what you call it, group clan or whatever. Um, they've been in the group for, um, I like the word group better. They've been in the group for a while, so actually, Tower of Daltonism. <laughs> Wait, did, oh no, it says town. I, I just said tower. So he's making. I, I gave him the shop, and uh, I basically built the the building you see here. I, I, I'm pretty sure you guys can remember this over here. Um, Why built? And so I gave him this, but then uh, when I after I gave it to him, like last night, right after, I added on uh, this over here and this room, and I think this room looks pretty decent too. Like look, at this this design actually changes up, and also like look if you really look closely, the silver's on bottom and gold is in the middle, and it's kind of that way. It's going to be that way all around there too. Um, and then at the top there's a uh, fancy glass and gold. So I think that's a really cool, that's a new design I'm kind of doing. And I think that would be a really cool idea to do. So uh, yeah, he has all this. Vertless. And it's a really nice looking shop so far I think so I had to expand it a lot because oh there he is right now the builder and miner the new I'm gonna be the build oh where's his name oh here here we go let me show you guys his room real quick so this is his room see when people want to go to his shop he has a nice looking door here and I think this is actually pretty important to have. If you ever buy a room, then uh, you need you should have uh, something around it. And honestly, maybe like something behind it too, to cover up that uh, classic uh, skin door. And then you can even put bricks in front of it, going around the edges of that gray skin. And that way, you can make it look like you know a whole new door kind of what he was going for there I wonder if this is his old shop please let it be the old shop okay this was his old shop see he took me in here and he had a bunch of like he had these two lines of um, thing as you seen as you guys seen in the glass cases there was items those items you could buy from him and he had like two uh, rows right here and it was just like a lot and it was and actually there's actually uh, more rows too he had corner rows that's right he had corner rows right here like two lines of rows too 
so it was very packed in this one little room and then so I was like well I got a big room that I was going to turn into a shop but I don't really like to run a shop it, like for doing it myself I wouldn't want to do it but I like to see them be run and I'd like to build a shop so that's what I basically did uh, with Bertless so I built the shop and then he's going to run it and honestly I don't ask for anything in return like as long as he's having fun that's all that matters and check it out they have their uh, Daltonism clan uh, uh, what's it light pole yeah if people join the clan I gave them I give them a, a fancy block as you see under this light pole the furnished uh, clean wood block and then five iron poles and then one candle and then five glass he's forgetting the glass but that's okay because he has this bouncy thing around and I think that makes up for it for me <laughs> I think that's so cool though like I didn't ask them to do like a little design around or anything but oh and there's his uh hydrated cute things down there that's cool okay I, I couldn't find I didn't see them at first so I was worried that he only had a few in this game you want to have a lot of those hydrator cubes dang what's wrong with your thing <laughs> or uh, I'm not good at those things unless if there's like a cover around it <laughs> let's see that show you the top here yeah I did okay so that was Bertless and um it's his storage room and see I, I like to help people out and with his shop I also gave him like a lot of crates and some of these items as well not all the items but like probably like a row of these items but a good decent amount like see those are all, I think those are all, all the items I gave him <laughs> people do this in giant circle I'm not sure why Wait, this was the door, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I think I did that. Oh yeah, that's right, I did do that. See, I have it uh, faded foam, so it kind of looks like a door. Or I think I did that. I don't know if he knows this spot over here. Yeah, I think I was gonna. Make <clears throat> I was actually not gonna make this a shot, but a school area, right? Yeah, I was gonna make. Oh, I gotta make sure. Who can it says? Make sure it's just him. Trusted here. Trusted. Yeah, there we go. Only Bertless. That's right. These. I did buy this room with some people, but they just end up disappearing on me. I'm not. I'm not really sure they disappeared. It kind of freaked me out, honestly. I was like, huh. They were like working with me and everything, and all of a sudden, boom. They just vanished. So this is Vertless shop and he should have some good prices. You know, I'll show him how to do um, the signs under the wood here so that way when you walk up to items you can uh, that are on the floor you can see the prices of them. Oh this is this looks cool though. See I think I don't know. I don't know if he knows that or not, so I gotta make sure to tell him. Okay, so that's our new shop we got. So yeah, there's a lot to show you guys, so. And then we got a new member over here, Chicken of Doom place. Whoa, it's a lot of rubber trees. Please don't eat palm tree trunks. Okay, we'll come back here with some Paul Tree trucks. Give him a lot or something, you know. I got a lot. I think I got like a thousand left over, so I could give him a good four hundred. I'll probably clear. Up. I'll probably finish up that spot. Chickens for a hundred. See, crow, crow, cows for one hundred twenty-five. Does that say pigeons? No pigs. Man, I can't read today. 
Oh, this is weird. It's like, you used to have a cloud here, probably. Oh, the chicken's down here. Oh, there's a chicken. That's cool. See, a hundred seed. We might buy the chicken off him. Have for the farm. I don't know yet. Let's see what's in this. I don't know yet. Yeah, it's a, I don't know yet. <laughs> oh no, I fell down the hole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not sure how to get out of there. Oh, before we go back to the realm, let me show you guys what they made here. A Halloween overworld and check it out. At first when I was come when I came here I was like, Oh, this place looks weird. Why is this called a Halloween overworld? You know, like, it's just a bunch of mountains and lava. I'm like Oh, what's that cosmic cow block? Sweetie. I don't know who that is. But check it out. So they made a pumpkin. This is made by the creators of the game. Now over there, that, that temple is called like the good place. I tried to get in there, but it wouldn't let me. The sanctum of bad. Oh, they won't let me in that one either don't have permission to enter this realm. You know, I think it's like they're going to let people have permission when it's Halloween. Honestly, this was made like um, probably a couple nights ago. Temple of Good. So the Sanctum of Bad and Temple of Good coming out soon. And there it looks, it looks like there's a couple more spots. I don't know if they, those are or not. But can't wait to see what those maps are. We'll for sure check them out. Um, but let's get back to the, that person just jumped in lava. <laughs> Wait, cute pine realm? This is new. Wait, no, it's not. What is this? I don't know. I guess a place to explore later. Um, we'll go there. Going back home. And so we still got this realm to work on. So now that that's a shop, I don't even know what to do here. This is going to be like a chill spot. So we got a giant trampoline. That, that's, I think I showed you guys that last time though. But I'm not sure. Like, I'm going to see like what kind of... Oh, this is actually a... I just made this actually like an hour ago. So, um, wow, he did a lot of work. Is he still doing work? I mean, his friend is doing work over here. So they're trying to level it out. So, oh, man. We have a piece. We have a problem. They're not going to understand what to do here. They're going to think, I think, to, um, keep on, whatchamacallit. Leveling it out. Or try to level out another layer. That's what I kind of would do. But we don't really have to do that. Oh no, see, so yeah, if they seen that, they probably want to level it out another layer. But, um, or I don't know. They might know what they're doing. Yeah, see, they got some ice here. I feel like they actually did have to deal with that already. Yeah, see, look. They actually hit, they actually hit a spot there, but they didn't keep going. It's cool. I mean, this is their idea, uh, the new members. So we're going to level out this down two bricks, and then after that, um, dang this lag. Come on, go away lag. So after that, then we're going to start building here. I'm not sure what we're going to build there at all. Right now, it's just. That new member and one of his uh, clan members, and yeah, this is the new member I'm talking about right here. Uh, I have to make this clear that they this person made that name because um they were they lost an account or something because they didn't have a password to it, and I think someone took it or something. You really need passwords on this game, and um. And so they made this name because they were really sad, but they didn't know that name, you know. I 
just realized. I don't think I have the sound on. Yeah, now I'm remembering we've been hit on oh, entrance sound on. Okay, we're back with sound too. So where's my controller? Turn this up. Now <clears throat> Oh yeah, that's I, I don't know if I showed you this yet already. But now we can zoom in really close. Which I think is a pretty cool update. Like these are the pumpkins that um coffee freak uh, loaned to us. And actually, by the end of this video, we'll, we'll be visiting his realm as well because he upgraded his pretty much. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you guys the Colosseum in this town, which is now it's like. I guess now it works <laughs> because uh, now inside here find great battle arenas the Colosseum so here's the Colosseum and oh I'm trying to get up here my bad guys oh, just let me get a second got it okay I have these little spike bugs coming out and I didn't I didn't think I really didn't think that they would fit so well so well well <laughs> well in um in this coliseum in this ring and people like that I actually seen people like stand in here and like try to walk through here side to side without getting touched by the the spike bugs which I didn't even think of that either but yeah once I seen two drop I was like oh I have to use a third one in there as well and yeah now it looks pretty nice I think it would look pretty cool if I had another spike bug going the opposite way of this one back and forth so it would be even more but I'm not sure I think that looks good enough for now so yeah when you get into these battle arenas PvP is always on and uh, the doors are going to be floating up in the air like you see here. But uh, don't worry because there's kill spots on the map so you can always die to get back up at the door. Now here's the top of the arena. I, I didn't check the name. I think this is called Cold Tunnels. Um, here's the, th yeah, it's the top. And then here's the, uh, underneath the second layer. This is the cold tunnels part. It's all ice and it actually isn't that easy. Like see I just hit myself there. Again I did. And I'm trying to hit down this hallway. So yeah, if you're using this map, the I think the best thing to do is stay on the side if you're gonna shoot be uh one way so you don't get the splash damage. And you can go on each side. And also look at this, there, there's just something really cool in the middle there. I have like a, a nice little thing, I don't know, a design I guess. And uh, over here this is just for the play effect, like if people are shooting each other and running, you know, around here too fast and they're not paying attention, they could land in this water and end up shooting themselves in the water, I think. I think you can do that, I'm not sure. But it has it on both sides. So, um, let me make sure you guys can see this in good color. Yeah, okay, this might be a little bit better color. I don't know. But yeah, now you can see, like, that's black marble holding up the water. And let me show you the top real quick. So you got some walls over here uh, that guard you from the, I don't know, from dropping down or something. I don't know, just a little bit of protection. And then you can, like, jump up here for a little bit of protection, too. Now, this was just the first map. I was able to build this whole thing in, uh, I think, 15 minutes or 15 or 10. No, not 10 minutes, that's, that's way too quick. 15 or 20 minutes. 
and then right afterwards I started working on this one over here this one's called the swimming ring and that last one I, my bad I got close to the camera that was pretty loud <laughs> I had to put my soda down that last one I showed you it was a uh, 10 times 10 or 15 times 15 world this one is a 20 times 20 world and um, yeah this is called the swimming ring so this one's more of a this one has more of the survival on it you know not only are you going to be battling but you're going to have to be avoiding those cannons up there if you want to like try to stay up there and also what's cool about this like see in order to jump back up you have to jump a block away or you're going to jump in that slide which hurts you or if you get too close to these cactuses and fall down well you might fall in a safe spot like you see uh let me get close up here this side where i'm standing on that's safe grass but over there that's not safe grass and so it's placed all around the cactus so some spots are safe some spots aren't and it's hard to remember you know oh this is pretty cool i think let me turn on the bread okay down here we have a nice pearl uh ocean floor and also we have a shooting spot i realize you can't shoot in the water like shooting in the water that will just instantly hurt you so I might even make this a little bit wider where this expand like this opens up a block a room over there but yeah so now people can even if they if there's two people down here they can battle it out down here and uh this is a very bad death trap I like it though like like if you if you're like swimming over here or swimming anywhere near the spot there's only one layer on top of here so once you sink in you sink in real quick and all that is uh all that is harmful grass in there and then so like yes yeah, so even even if you swim in there by mistake on the side it's hard to jump out uh then the other cactus which have actually more hit uh grass points on them and that's pretty much it for the swimming ring but yeah I got the name because there, there's a big swimming portion and at the top there's a ring portion <laughs> like things are pretty simple right now but uh I'm, I'm going I'm planning to build some more to with this coliseum just so people have like a variety of where to battle at you know you might not be able to change your character as easy but you can do that in this game but um yeah let me just check 15 times 15 that's what this um the other map was and i think I, i'm pretty sure i was right on the name Cold Tunnels, yeah. The name was Cold Tunnels. Joan. Young. Joan Young. Oh, wow. Did someone just join? Huh. Cool. So, that was the first person I seen that actually came through here. Oh, look. Coffee Freak left us another pumpkin this time on the street that's cool actually it looks better out here because you can see it more but yeah um, whoever this person is Juan 20 young thanks for uh, coming to the town <laughs> that's cool I never really seen someone. The reason why they came to the town is because this over here. Uh, I have people, since they have a shop nearby, 
so it's being used more recently and honestly if I have a um, if I have a vendor that gives out like food samples it would to this place it would like um, or sugar warps I mean it would let people eat those and come instantly back here I'm sure if I put one like right here it would there'd be it, there'd be a lot more of that happening like just random strangers coming inside the town and it would feel more like a real town which is pretty cool I think so we might end up doing that actually let's see so I showed you the shop the storage room you guys already seen that I don't think there's nothing new to the storage room Chicken of Doom's place I'm pretty sure I already showed you that guys Modern starter for Daltonism. Do I? Own, do I? Okay. I think. Oh, yeah. I didn't know I had permission. Okay, so this was like. This is an example of like. This is how. When I first started playing the game, this is how I would build all my floors. They would have either silver and gold. Silver or gold and mix them with glass so you can see the sparkle of it and also under the glass there would be like something so it went just like plain wait did he close this off? oh no he can oh here's sir uh, oh wow whoever Oh, this is ASVD. Sell off this, whatchamacallit, uh, glyph artifact XII because we already have two of them. telling me like if it's the, the like there's some that are rare and then some that are not rare oh wait did I find this one one in the tropics. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. So he's gonna he's gonna pay one sixty five, I think. Well, let's see, would that give us enough for point door? These sand artifacts can be found. Desert, tropical, or forest, he says. So here's 165. Boom. And 
just so you guys could see. It was, uh, like, it was, wait, what, whoops, I was like, where'd it go? Huh. It was this one. Yeah, this one isn't that good. This one is actually worth the 165 because it's not really that cool. we'll go to we'll go to um, Apple Mart someone gave me I think it was Sir Epnes I don't know if you guys seen him in the video but he gave us this one of us to see his Apple Mart the shop wow it looks pretty nice here see the prices for these Bat wings, two th or dragon wings, two thousand cubits, which is fair because they're rare. You know, you probably find them for six thousand other places. By the way, this is Apple Mart, kind of like the Apple Store, but mixed in with um, what you might call it, twenty cubits for these hats, twenty-five for them, fifteen for them. Not bad prices. They're really fair. What's that? How do we make a ring? Weird. I'll check out his water fountain. Let's see what's this? A dragon tail? A beaver tail for 100 cubits. Sure, you want one portal portable generator pack items for 450 cubits? A portable generator, what pack? Well, I might actually need to come back for that. 
I don't know what that is. Uh, we don't have that yet. And then he has some of these flowers that are you get from these flowers you can't mine. So for ten cubits, you get five of those. Five, five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So for all the flowers that you get from the packs, you get five each for whichever ones you want for 10 cubits which is a fair price and then there's other stuff too from packs yeah you can't get those from mining oh let's see here he has a rare block for 250 blocks. I don't know if I have that one or not Oh man, too bad it goes that way. I think I would suggest to him put these machines over here so people can zoom in on them and see which ones they are. Because I can't see this gray one. I don't know if we have it or not. <laughs> oh, here's a tux for 2000 a suit jacket for 3,000 the pilgrim pants let's see what about this hat for 100 the hat okay yeah so for those I'm pretty sure those, because I never really I, I, <coughs> I got a lot of hydrate cubes and was never able to get those outfits the suit jacket and um Pilgrim pants. Oh, he has two fountains. I didn't realize that. Let's make sure we've seen everything here. Yeah, looks like it. And he has a lot of room to expand, too, so. Who knows? Maybe in the future we might be coming back to the Apple Mart. Look at everyone out here. Let's see if I can see how many people I can get, get, get to say hi real quick in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, no one. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think of if there's anything else to show. I showed the battle arena and then I showed that place oh and while we were making this video I don't know if I showed you this but mm, where'd it go storage room oh I know dang it This place weird. Uh, well, not. I didn't really plan this out, but these two people over here did. Death please and uh, slab, slab cubit, cube save four thousand four oh four. that steam pack that's what it looks like that's pretty cool that's a nice backpack Whenever you see them around, 
I jump into each one like that. It's like a real challenge. <laughs> I got the mob jumping now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, so right now we're waiting for this to dry so we can put up a statue of a cubit first. Cubit. QB, that's what we're called. There's a level six right now. I'm about to sh I'm about to ask him what color he wants and give him clothes. <laughs> See here. First, I'll ask him. I'll do that later after the video, because that's gonna take a lot of typing. I guess I'll help out. Should I help out this person too? Level thirteen. Dang, you know what? I have faith. I have faith in my my friends. They're gonna help them out, so I don't have to <laughs> look at me while I'm going. <laughs> I haven't said anything. <laughs> but um, I guess that's it for here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show you guys. This Coffee Freaks 87. He updated his place a lot. Let's check it out. Now our room is right here. And it's called the Co-op Build. So, I guess so he knows. But look, I like this. It looks like kind of, uh, you know, like cabins. Like Friday the 13th or something. Very sick. Cabin. What? Oh. Dead cat. Dead coffee makers? Oh, he was just in here actually. Town build. Lobby of realms under construction. Okay, so. Wow, look at this place. Let me make sure it's not too bright. Okay, it's not. Oh, he has a giant bone here, like a dinosaur bone. A tip jar. That's real cool how he has it for. Oh, he has dice. I think we need to make one of these dice soon. But, you know, I haven't made the dice yet because I want to make a room where it's, it looks like a board game. And, yeah, people will have dice so we can, you know, play a board game. Not even if when I do make that, of course you guys are gonna get to see that. Whoa, okay, I get it. So this skeleton was wearing that suit and we go inside his head. Yes, we can. Oh, and the cobweb says an eye. That's cool. I like that. Forgetting that uh, coffee freak, eighty-seven. He uh, oh look, there's a giant coffee mug. Remember, like how we had the coffee mug in our town. Oh here, oh wow. Wait, what's he use? Oh, he used his mug. I guess oil's missing. This place is very fun to explore, that's for sure. Is this another scarecrow? 
I'm in a scarecrow. Ah, scarecrows are in my mind now. Yeah, this is another skeleton. I mean to say. Yeah, so I keep forgetting that uh, Coffee Freak has like a giant uh, round here. So I think we need to end the camera's time. Hey everyone, so to end off this video, um, I wanted to say, uh, well, now I'm trying to think of a thumbnail because I just took a screenshot. But how did I take that screenshot? Okay, it's F12. Okay. I have to tell people I'm recording every time they come up. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, before we end off this video, I just want to say, like, here on the QB world and Cubic Castle, they didn't remove this. I'm gonna remove this one. I was just seeing which door they would want. They chose the, uh, um, look, they chose that door. The old, our classic wood. Oh, that's a close. Um, the story with this person, they're actually brand new to the town, they, they joined in the middle of this video, and, so, like, what happened was, is, when I first read their name, it was poor noob help so I figured I was like this has to be an alt account an alt account means like a fake second account oh man I don't like this emotion con that stays open all the time so um I thought they were an alt account like trying to get people to give them free stuff but it turns out they were actually a real account good thing that um I actually wait I didn't give them the couches did I? oh no no oh wait these are all the couches I got that's right okay so like what was I saying? <laughs> People keep talking to me. Hold on, let me close this chat. Let me get this chat cleared. So, <laughs> yeah, this is the new person that joined us. Pro, I call him Pro Dude Help Helps Place. I asked him if he had a nickname or something he wanted to call by, and he said, uh, the dude's shop. And so, I'm like, uh, you know, he doesn't have a shop yet. When when he does turn his realm into a shop, then I will, you know, change the sign into a shop. I'm level 6. <laughs> I always saw me as level 6. Like I said, I thought, I honestly thought he was a scammer on here. But then it turns out he wasn't. He's just a regular person playing out the game. And now they got my help and they're able to do a lot more. Uh, well, you know, he's le he's learning the way, like, I'm just gonna say the way, like that old meme, <laughs> but, um, he's learning, so, today, like, during this video, while the camera was charging, we were able to get, uh, this all done, we, we leveled out this place, and as you can see here, like, I made it like a hill, kind of, and then we built him a shed, and a, a house, now I gave him all the supplies because I did build a lot of this so I gave him a lot of supplies so he can as you guys see in his chest now I won't be going through his chest the only the only uh, crates I'll be going through is this one over here I'll be putting stuff in this one and if he keeps it empty 
then every time I come here and go to that uh, crate, then I can put more stuff in there for him to use for his realm. And but other than that, I'm not gonna touch anything else. In fact, I'm probably gonna tell him probably to uh, untrust me, just so I don't have. In case if he adds anyone else with building permission, I don't want to take the risk of um, going uh, of him getting scammed by someone else, you know, and then and then he'll see like two names as trusted, and not and if I'm one of them, that would kind of suck because all I do is help, you know. I don't really like to be trusted in people's main rooms. When it's one of the, the rooms I bought, like this shop, since I bought this room, I don't mind being trusted. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I have to be trusted. There's no other way around it. Um, but it makes me feel more comfortable because I, I know who's going to be trusted the whole time when that shop's up. Um, Let's see. I think that's about it for this episode. Uh, all I have to show left is um. Whoa! Oh, I thought he had like a slow motion thing going on. Does he? No, oh, it's a crazy lag. Why he uses ladders? I'm surprised, Coffee Freak. I didn't think he'd be the ladder type. I thought he'd have an elevator. Oh wait, what is this? What like do you speak of? <laughs> I guess he can feel the lag too. Poor noob needs help. We'll call him poor dude. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, leave a like and comment below your favorite part of it. And yeah, we'll probably tune back in uh, next time much sooner because the realm's getting bigger. And in order to keep up with the updates, well, you guys are going to have to have to stay tuned, I guess. <laughs> so, and also don't forget, if you want to join this town too and uh have my help for at least the get started up and linked here then just let me know and we'll get that done uh peace out and stay awesome people